Welcome back. Over the last few weeks, I've been trying to give everybody a tour of different parts of the church and different elements of the church. First of all, so that we can all learn something, but also so that everybody can kind of remember what we look like and, and stay attached to St. Clair Parish, which is such a wonderful parish. Today, we're going to be talking about the three most important parts of the church during the celebration of the Eucharist. And those are the altar, the ambo, and the chair. They're the most important because they are clearly defined as presences of Christ during the liturgy. It is at the altar in which we receive our Lord, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. It is at the ambo in which we experience our Lord in the word proclaimed, and at the chair in which we experience our Lord in the authority of Christ as high priest. So first we'll speak about the altar. This is the altar within the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. This altar was actually made by a member of the parish who now goes to St. Kateri's. His name was Jim Crowley. And he made this altar for us in 1999. And this altar, as with most altars, has relics within it. This is an ancient tradition of the church, which goes back to the book of Revelation, in which we hear about the song of the martyrs coming up from underneath the altars. So the, all, the relics that we have here in this altar that was made for St. Clair Parish are a relic here of St. Clair of Assisi, our patroness, and a relic of St. John Napomaceno, who was a martyr. So it is here that we receive, as the Eucharist is celebrated, the body of our Lord. It is called the altar of sacrifice because it is on this that we take part in the one perfect sacrifice of our Lord on the cross, and in which we receive the banquet of life, the bread of life, and the cup of everlasting salvation. The altar and the ambo and the chair are also known as objects with reserved usage. They can only be used for one particular thing. So the altar is only used for the celebration of the Eucharist. It is always covered with a white cloth, except on Good Friday in which the altars are bared. Welcome back. Now we're in the church. This is the altar that we have here within St. Clair Church. This altar we got in August of 2018. It was from a church that was closed on the East Coast, and it looks like it was made for our parish. It looks like it was made for St. Clair's. And this also is again the altar of sacrifice, also called the altar table, because it is on this altar in which we experience part of the sacrifice, and in which we partake of the banquet of everlasting life. This altar also has a relic. We don't know exactly which relic it is. We know it's of a saint, and I'm going to show it to you right over here because it's on the mensa or on the top of the altar. This is called an altar stone. It is a piece of marble, which is on the top of the altar table, in which there is a relic of a martyr, which is right here, cemented into the marble. We don't know who's in here, but we know that there is the relic of a martyr in here. On this altar stone, we also have five crosses, which remind us of the five wounds of Christ. And the placement of the altar stone is very specifically right here, so that the bread and the wine, as they are, are transformed into the body and blood of our Lord, will be on top of them during those words of institution. And this is the ambo. The ambo literally means and translates to the place which is raised up. So as you can see, our ambo is raised up a step so that it will be something that has been raised up. It is from the ambo that we hear the word of God proclaimed. It too is a presence of our Lord in the celebration of the Eucharist, for we experience the presence of our Lord through the proclamation of the word of God. 
Once again, this has a concept of reserved use. This is only used for the celebration of the proclamation of the word of God and the preaching of a homily. For all other things in which you might need something like this that don't have to do with that, those actions take place at the lectern on the other side of the sanctuary. As you can see, we have four sculptures here on the front of the ambo of the evangelists of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we have these here and situated the way they are, so it will look like the book of the Gospels. The book of the Gospels, which is processed into Mass when we celebrate Mass on Sundays. And so we realize that as we see the book of the Gospels processed into the church, so we will also be reminded of the book of the Gospels and of the word of God proclaimed when we look at the ambo. This ambo was also made by that same member of the parish who made the altar in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. As you can tell, he was a very talented woodworker, and we very much appreciate all of the effort he went into. And finally, this is the presider's chair. This is the chair in which the presider of the celebration of the Mass will be seated at those appropriate times. This also is considered to be a presence of Christ during Mass because it is in this chair in which the presiding priest will be acting in persona Christi, literally in the person of Christ. This chair was also made by that same member of the parish, Jim Crowley, and as you can see, he made a special reference to the history of St. Clair and St. Francis in the making and building of this chair by this small version here of the San Damiano Cross, which is so important to the history of Francis and Clare, and therefore us, St. Clair Parish. So every time we look upon this chair, we are called to be reminded of the presence of Christ in the presider of the Eucharist, who acts as in persona Christi in the person of Christ.